How's it going everybody and welcome back to some more Super Mario Maker 2. This time we're finally returning to story mode because at the time of recording, there are no new courses from any Nintendo channels and I don't feel like doing multiplayer online versus co-op or versus right now. I think I said versus twice. Anyway, there are plenty of jobs left to do in story mode. In fact, there's like 30 or so. Anyway, we're starting out here with a Yamamura job, so let's go to the summer shootout. Cuckoo, I was flapping my way through the air trying to get some exercise in when I found myself in a hail of bullets. They must all be flying south for the winter. Would you mind stomping them out of the sky for me? Difficulty, four stars, payment, a clothing item, because of course that's usually what happens when we play with the characters or do the character jobs. All right, it's a Mario Brothers stage, okay. And it's a bullet stage, ooh, oh. Oh, a key right away inside of the Goomba, okay. Oh, is this what I'm thinking of? Oh, it is, oh, this stage, this level, this job is uh, very challenging and you need to keep the boot. I did a bad job at that though. All right, let's try this again. This, uh, this is a fun level, it's a fun level, I wouldn't, I mean, I guess it's difficult enough, but I wouldn't say it's, like, completely difficult. Uh, so let's just keep things in balance. There we go. All right, now let's wait for the next round of bullets to show up. Okay. Just bounce. Just be content. Be content. There we go. All right, next bullet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Huh? 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 All right, there we go. Ooh. All right, now we're bouncing on these little bull. I, of course, I landed right in the middle when the things are apart. Oh, I got a one-up from the bullets. I was going to say, where did I get the one-up from? But yeah, if you bounce on the bullets consecutively, you'll get your one-up because that's typical with any Mario game, actually. All right, this time, try this again. Hopefully, I won't fall in between a hail of bullets. That was completely terrible. All right, just bounce, 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 perfect. Actually, let me get that 10 coin. 10 coins are great, 10 coins are fine. I mean, it's better if you probably, uh, this is the hardest part though, right here. <laughs> All the big bullets in between each other and they're far apart, it's a little difficult, okay. I need to focus, concentrate, focus, just do this, do this. Could I possibly even do it without the boot, I wonder? I don't think you can. I mean, it'd be pretty tough to do it without the boot. I'd uh, I'd be curious to see if anybody has done that. All right, uh, this time, take it a little slow. Sometimes you have to hold back and sometimes you don't. It's a little weird. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this, okay. Okay, and... <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Why don't I even jump at that point? I knew I was gonna die, so maybe I wanted to get it over with quicker by just hitting the bullet instead of falling into the abyss. I don't know. Okay, this one is probably gonna cause a game over if I'm not careful, which I probably should be careful, right? I mean, <laughs> that'd be that'd be wise. Take it a little slow, you know, just do this with a reasonable amount of time or worry, I guess. Where were- where was the bullets? The bullets didn't show up until the screen was practically on me and I was about to be sucked into the abyss, and by that I mean kind of pushed forward anyway. That was pretty lame. Okay. Well, now I'm definitely getting a game over here, probably. Or a continue thing, because it's not technically a game over, because you can just continue, just get kicked out of the job or whatever. Uh... <laughs> Okay, now I'm definitely doing that. I don't know why I jumped out of there. That was, uh, that was pretty bad, but we can continue. We can just continue from here. Yes, try again. I'm not gonna have Luigi get a call. I'm not calling for Luigi here. I'm just hopefully going to do this. It'd probably be a little easier if it was a smaller boot, but would a smaller boot be able to go on the bigger bullets, I wonder? I don't know, actually. There are plenty of things about Mario Maker I don't exactly know, which, I mean, maybe I should figure it out, but I mean, 
when I, I keep jumping out when I, I know I'm going to die anyway. Uh, there are plenty of things about Mario Maker I don't exactly know about, but, I mean, I'm, wor I'm working on it, slowly but surely, especially when I keep <laughs> dying to these. Okay, maybe things didn't spawn quickly because I'm going fast in certain sections. Yeah, see, look at this. It's like barely spawned. It's a little weird. Okay. Okay, all right. Jump up. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now give me the big bullets. Thank you. Thank you. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. There we go. Okay. Take this slowly. Slowly. There we go. Okay, finally we made it past a certain point and... Oh god. Oh god. Huh? No! <laughs> the bullets stopped! The ending's right there! I can see the black border! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> That's the best I've done and it'll probably be the best I have of the run currently with the five lives that I got from this run. Great. Okay. Let's try this again. I thought I was about to fall through again. I won't fall through until I get like right- actually how did I fall through? The gap is like so particular that you would need to fall through that. How did that even happen? Anyway, uh, let's just skip, skip. Luckily you can skip some of the bullets here. Uh, there we go. Okay, careful. I think I- yeah, I like fell through because of the different trajectory when it comes to the like up and down for those bullets. Ugh, no. Okay, there we go. Just don't even bother. You can do it without the boot. It is a little tedious. You probably couldn't do it on the big ones. I don't know, but I'm finally done with that level. <laughs> I've been on this level for like, I've been on this level for like seven minutes now. Oh, uh, well, that is it for Yamamura, I believe. I think that's the last of Yamamura's job. So thank you, Yamamura. That was exciting. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Actually, hang on. Uh, no, I don't want to do this yet. Also, there's a spoiler because Peach has a job for us now, but I'm not going to do that yet because I want to go down this pipe first because now that we're done with the story mode, we can actually use our Builder Mario costume to break the bricks right here. We can pick up some coins as well. And when we get under this here, we can hit this a couple times. And... There we go. Beep beep. Rebooting system. The core spot is in the story mode. Yeah, I mean everything else from the course makers in story mode. So why wouldn't why wouldn't core spot? Anyway, uh, Core Spot, do you have anything of value for us, actually? Or is this just we can play story mode stuff in here? I think it's only story mode. Yes, I'm, I'm Mario. Mario confirmed. Uh, videos. Oh, you have video. Okay, it's not even Core Spot. It's just cutscene stuff. Okay, I was wondering where the cutscene options were. Because uh, usually Mario games have that type of stuff. Alright, uh, I will not be doing the Let's Go Builder Mario quite yet. I w Let's see, look, we have up to 64 to 90. That is 26, so close to 30. It's more close to 30 than 20. Uh, let's go to the Fast Snake Block Frontier. This course has super fast snake blocks racing around it. I need someone to test it out. I'll make it worth your while from the Snake Block Enthusiasts. Uh, three star difficulty, 200 coin payment. Let's go ahead and hop in. All right, so finally we're gonna be taking care of all of these jobs. I know I said I wanted to do all of this stuff like three episodes ago, but then stuff just kept coming up. All right, we're dealing with fast snake blocks. Okay, so let's just keep everything in mind. Oh, we have, we're gonna be doing some jump in here. Okay, there we go. Is that going to go up? Yes, it is. All right. Ooh, this is going to go down. We have to use the donut blocks for a little bit. This actually isn't too big of a deal because we can just continuously jump. All right, perfect. But this is only the first part. This is going to get a lot harder. Oh, I was going to say, 
Uh, is it gonna do some weird thing where it's gonna keep going and I need to catch up with it and also use this other one? But no, it, it's good. Uh, let's see, wait for the snake block, and there we go, perfect. This is a lot easier compared to the Yamamura level, considering it's one star less difficult. Alright, that's cool, thank you. Uh, I could have grabbed the one up, but uh, I didn't, so that's my bad. Ooh, now we're dealing with some snake block usage. We're doing doubling and tripling of the snake blocks, okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh, oh, oh, this is quite interesting, actually. Uh, we're gonna need to do this. Perfect. Okay, another checkpoint. I will gladly take that, considering it'd be nice, especially if I do lose a life. All right, things are getting a little quicker, but hey, look, we got some Wigglers to bounce on, so it's not too bad. Just gotta make sure we continuously jump on the Wiggler until we have the Snake Block back. Oh, oh, this is a problem. Oh, never mind, not a problem anymore. Uh, we're gonna need the Snake Block to get into the pipe. There we go. That should be it, right? Uh, yes. One last snake block to get to the top of the flagpole. There we go. Oh wow, it even really does lead you to the top. I thought it was just gonna be like a little straight line and then, or maybe it would have one up one, but uh, we did it. That's great, it's been so long since I commentated story mode stuff in Mario Maker, I don't know how to feel. <laughs> like, this feels so foreign to me right now. Uh, red pal block on the move. Uh, red pal blocks are in 3D world, so I assume this is a 3D world course. I made a course where you throw a red pal block to clear the way. Hold Y to pick it up and then release Y to throw it. Throw it at whatever you want to break. One star difficulty, payment of 100 coins from Dr. Gizmo. Let's hop in. Yep, it's a 3D world stage. Perfect. I just realized I didn't grab a bottle of water to drink in between recording stuff. That's, uh, that's my bad. Anyway, uh, ooh, we have a, uh, oh, do I really need to do this? Okay, this is gonna be a little tedious, but hey, it's only, uh, it's a one-star level, so it's not too big a deal. Uh, oh, that could have been bad. I probably should have died there. Uh, let's see, clear that way. That's... Probably gonna give a red pal? No? Oh, I can go up there. I was wondering why nothing dropped. Uh, coins... A uh, ten coin. Yeah, I guess I can pick that up, even though there's nothing really to spend it on anymore. But, uh, you know, it, it could be useful. Is there anything up there, actually? I wonder. Uh, destroy those. Ooh, wow, that actually destroyed all of them. Uh, ooh. I need that mushroom because I don't know if anything will happen that's bad that will cause me to, you know, die. Alright, destroy these. I'm actually going to pick another one of these up. I'm going to take it with me. Oh, a life? Hello. I didn't expect you, but, uh, nah, actually, can I just... Oh, I can! Yeah, thank you. Alright, perfect. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Let's go. Let's just go. Ooh. Okay, destroy that again. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna destroy that. Can I please get another pal before this sh disappears? Uh, that's close. Very, very close. Wait, where was... Oh, the other one was down there. I was like, wait a second. Wait, where's the other one? And for good measure, bring the pal with me. Am I actually gonna stand on top of it? I am. Very nice. We grabbed another 10 coins from the top of the flagpole, which is exciting. And that is another job cleared, which means we are ever so close to completing all of the jobs, even though there were 26 of them to start this out. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna take a couple of episodes. Parabeetle Transfer. I made a course where you jump from Parabeetle to Parabeetle. Uh, but once a Parabeetle goes up, it doesn't go back down from the Ruler of the Skies. Difficulty 4 stars, payment of 300 coins. If this is the one that I'm thinking of, this one is a bit of a doozy, and I probably will end up using about 17 continues. Alright, here we go. We're in the Mario Brothers style. The other one was Mario 3. I didn't uh, remember that for a second. Alright, what I want to do, I'm going to treat this like I'm a Let's Player. Well, I am a Let's Player, but I'm going to treat this like 
Uh, I'm going to treat this like it's an actual, I mean, even though this is technically a side play, I guess you can follow along like this is a, uh, like this is a thing. All right. We're going to raise this one up here. And thankfully, I do have a couple behind me, too. So let's drop down here. Well, what they tell, they tell you that they can't go back down, but all you got to do is jump on them to stagnate uh, them going up and you'll be completely fine. All right, I'm actually going to continuously do it on this one just because I don't want. There we go. All right, we should be good now. Yeah, it's it's gonna be fine. It should be fine. I can I can make it go down pretty far. All right, we have Goombas now. Just gotta make sure I don't fall off willy nilly. Okay. Just continuously jump, continuously jump. If I need to take the hit to go backwards, I will do it, and I think I'll be okay. Oh, look at that! The ending's right there, and I can just get the top of the flagpole. That wasn't as bad as I remembered it, actually. That's... Why was that four stars? That should have been, like, two stars. Maybe three if you wanted to be lenient. I don't know why that was four stars. Anyway, we cleared it, so that's exciting. Like, really exciting. That's awesome. I'm speechless. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Anyway, let's move on to the Boom Boom Rager. Ahahaha, <laughs> I'm throwing a wild Boom Boom party in this town. I've even set aside some coins in case anyone makes it to the end. But let's be real, there's no way anyone is beating this. Name withheld by request. Three star difficulty, payment of 200 coins. Let's go ahead and hop in. This will probably be the last one of the episode because I don't want to... You know, I don't want to go for like 30 minutes. And we've done the Yamamura one and three other ones before, so this shouldn't be too bad. Oh, speaking of bad, this actually isn't really that great, because there's the wind, and it's, uh, it's not that fun, because we have to defeat some Boom Booms, so, uh, at least we can pick up some coins out of it. Uh, okay. Well, we defeated Boom Boom number one. That means there's another Boom Boom waiting. Actually, I think you're up here. You are up here. Hello, Boom Boom. All right, let's destroy you. All right, one, two, <laughs> of course. I should have, I should have waited a little more because of the wind. That's okay, this one isn't as bad. I know I, <laughs> I know I said that about the last stage and then I ended up, you know, being proven wrong because that was pretty terrible, but this one isn't so bad. Th this one isn't bad. We don't even need to deal with that boom boom. We can actually just avoid it. I don't even need to deal with that one either. I can just keep going. I don't know why I'm not like, actively avoiding the boom booms because I didn't really need to fight the other ones. There we go. Destroy this one. Uh, head up for a checkpoint. Ooh, exciting. I'll take it. Uh, we need to fight this one though. No, we don't. Okay. Uh, oh, be careful. Be careful. You never know. You never know what can happen. We need to fight this one because this one's a chunkin'. Hello, chunkin' boom boom. Uh, luckily though, we can avoid all responsibilities of fighting the Boom Boom with actually, oh, running start, okay. All you need is a running start, you'll be fine. And that's actually the ending. Yeah, I told you that wasn't really that bad. It was average. I mean, the three star difficulty is warranted for this one. Like the four star one for the Beetle one. I, why was that four star? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, now we, wow, 2,000 coins, dang, we are, uh, we're moving on up here in the world. Oh, man, I really, I said that would be the last one, but you know what, I'll do one more. I'm probably gonna regret this, though. <laughs> bonsai Bill chase scene. Oh, Bonsai Bills are in 3D world? Oh, well, no, Bonsai Bills are the red ones, so maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> I like how we added name withheld, and then we have father name withheld. There's no way Mario can make it through the castle now that I've upgraded it with bonsai bills, but I've been overconfident before, so I should probably find some poor st uh, sap to test it out on. Don't put that part in the job posting. Oh, the humor is great. Three star difficulty, 200 coin payment. This will definitely be the last one, especially if I struggle on it a bit. All right, here we go. Father of Name Withheld, who is clearly not Bowser. <laughs> Let's go. Bonsai Bills. Okay, okay, so it's regular, it's Mario World and Bonsai. Ooh, chasing. Okay, never mind. Here we go. 
This'll be exciting, I think. All right, uh, hit that, hit that, let's go. I, I love a good chase scene, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of action movies, so uh, I, I like when chase scenes occur. Oh, and look at that, ah, I should have waited, the coins were indicators. Uh, that's okay, this one isn't all that bad. Not all that bad, all right, here we go. This time we can do this on our second try <laughs> instead of first try. All right, gonna try to do this a little quicker. There we go, yeah, that's a lot faster than before. All right, yeah, this is a lot quicker. Okay, I can get these ones to spawn, perfect. Go. Oh, they trick you with that one. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Checkpoint, excellent. Okay, good first section, not too bad. Oh, but now we have the raining bonsai bills. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. And ending. Oh, look at that, there's the red bonsai bill. Okay, so bonsai bills are the normal ones, but... Oh, yeah, homing bonsai bills. Red ones are homing, Got duh. Why did I think that the bonsai bills were just the red ones? I'm so stupid. Anyway, that is going to do it for this episode of Super Mario Maker 2. Next time, we will continue doing the jobs in story mode that are left, because, God, there are a lot of them. I think, what, six... Oh, nice. Uh, 69 to 90, plus the peach one, so that's 21, 22? Okay, not too bad. We did... Uh, what, there were 27 including the Peach one, so we did 5. Not bad at all. And the Yamamura one, so we did 6, so even better. Uh, next time, of course, yeah, more jobs in story mode. I'm just rambling now for the ending. Thank you for watching, and until next time, catch you later.